when I was 25, I think, I decided normally when you're with, you know, at least I'm a hard charging, striving person, uh, I always want to, people like to strive to be like your parents, you know, it's kind of a natural thing to do. I realized pretty quickly in my life, if I could be half the man my dad was, that that would be a pretty good goal. If I tried to strive to be as good as him, it would be impossible. I'd be on a couch getting therapy all the time. This is a tragedy of our own doing. When we pulled back, instead of keeping a small force, which was the initial objective, to create stability, a fragile and stable Iraq existed the day that Barack Obama came into office. When he did not renew the, uh, the agreement with the Iraqi um, government to allow for troops to stay there, uh, that void was filled by sectarianism that once again kind of unraveled Iraq. And it created ISIS. I think we should embed our existing troops, 3,500 or more now, I, I don't know if the exact number, it seems like it's incrementally going up without a lot of big fanfare, but I think we ought to embed those troops inside the Iraqi military to give them the training and the backbone necessary for that fighting force to be reestablished.